delay in uh, starting the game. Ming and Ruben here again, your commentators for the game of Juggernaut versus XUM. Yeah, pleasure to be here, Ming. For those who have just joined us, in the dark blue is Juggernaut and in the white is XUM. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be an interesting game, don't you think so, man? Definitely, definitely. The key man to watch here is actually Lim Ming Lip from XUM and Muhammad Afifi bin Tahar from Juggernaut. So those two have some history in this league, do they? Yeah, uh, no, but they are their key men for the team. So ah, uh, Muhammad okay. Afifi has played with Red Baron before, and uh, Lim Ming Lip was the top leading scorer for uh, XUM last season. Right, okay, as we now head to the line for the first foul against Juggernaut. Yes, the score is 4 Two at the moment. Uh, four for uh, Juggernaut and two for XUM. Looks like we have a bit of a wet patch here. Um, ref is has a towel trying to address it and quickly dry it up. The last thing you want on the court is a wet one. That yes. definitely would be hazardous for the players playing today in this wet, wet afternoon. It's a... Uh... Yeah. Juggernauts, on the counter. XUM misses two of their free throws on that trip to the free throw line. Oh, out of power. Juggernauts trying to distribute the ball there, but unfortunately, that pass was a bit too strong. Uh, that was Muhammad Faidi trying to skip pass over to the other wing. Alright, right, let's there. see if XUM can capitalize on the mistake. Good penetration here. Good shake and bake, no good, kicks out. Wait 10 seconds on the clock. Four. So UM, XUM is actually a team, uh, a, a, a team of uh, ex-players from the University of Malaya uh, uh, basketball team that has just stayed together, trained together, and practiced for so long that every time they come and play, it's a very fast break there. Sorry to cut you off, but they very fast break there by the Juggernauts. Strong finish with the left hand for their lead guard, number 22. Not being able to convert. Oh, unlucky there on the fast break. Still maintaining possession. Fade away jumper. And it's good. The rim off. Out right there. Stop. Great out. shot there by number 23, Jagger Nods. William Will. Jiquid? Jiquid, yes, Jiquid. We'll call him Will. Will. Great shot there by Will. Uh, let's see. XUM here trying to set up something. Going baseline. Air inside. Great pass. Oh, unable to convert. Now, Juggernauts on the fast break. Great pass right there. Oh, fantastic finish. I like what I'm seeing from Juggernauts. They're very composed. Great finish there by number eight, Brandon Chong. Four stands at 10 to 2 right now. Um, All right, let's I, see. I, I, I actually. Oh, what a move by Mr. Mr. Strong. Yeah, yeah, nobody picking in the man up, being able to drive straight down the middle for a possible three-point play. So what were you saying just now, man, just about somebody? Uh, so um, um, I, I was going to talk about Mr. Call of You from uh, XUM, uh, Coach Core, or, or more exactly known as Coach Core. Um, it's 40, it's 50 this year. Really? It's 50 this year wow. and he's playing in such a high-level competition in SSL. Um, I aspire to be like him when I'm 50. Foul there, no good. Foul, coach core there. <laughs> Tough defense being played by by the 50 year old, uh, 50 year old man right here. Uh, 
miscommunication from Juggernauts there as uh, back caught by committed by Juggernauts. Yeah, great hustle there. I think definitely from the 50 year forcing that error. I think because clearly it looked like the ball was supposed to go to number 23, William Will. Forcing a shot there, baseline. Four two, it was good. Simon Winter. Looks like both teams are, you know, setting the pace, wanting you know, to play their own style of ball. Great drive right there, great block as well. Good recovery on defense. Now on the fast break. Juggernauts, oh, unlucky. Great interception there by Juggernauts, number five. As he goes down the line, loses the ball once again. Things are getting very, very messy. As I say, that great, strong counter attacking move there by XUM. Strong finish on the move. Extending now their lead by two points. Sorry, my mistake. Now, for shortening the, the lead. Shortening what, what was a 10-2 run into a 10-8 a, a lead right now. Right, right. My mistake, my mistake. Let's see what you're gonna have to say. Inbound pass. We're gonna cut. No good. Stripped. Good pass right there. Pull up three. And it's Vision here. Muhammad well, Irfan with the shot that uh, brings them into the lead right there. Yeah, great vision there by our senior number 12, Mr. Claw. Fantastic pass right there, too. They'll spot that open three opportunity. Right, let's see if Juggernauts can respond. <laughs> offensive foul there, unfortunately. But better defense. To the first timeout of the game. We'll get back to you shortly. Alright, now we are back. If you just joined us, once again, today we have the Juggernauts that are in blue and XUM in white. Zero on. Great pass right there. Great finish by XUM. Let's see how Juggernauts can respond to this. Setting a high screen there for the shot. And it's good. That force contest shot. Well played by the number 23. Will. Oh, unlucky as. You have tried to respond, but unlucky the ball does not fall for them timely. Will tries to get ball stripped. No? Oh, jump ball. As, uh, as the ball teams make their first substitute. XUM whipped the ball. Let's see what they got. Drive. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic effort by XUM, their lead point guard, Mr. Core. Interesting fact, he is the oldest player so far on this court right now. Aaron A is a stylated, wise, wise age of 50 years old. Teaching the youngsters on how to play ball. Great effort, don't you think, Ben? Um, 50 years young. You oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 50 years young, absolutely. You're as old only as you feel, and clearly, it looks like he has not aged with pain. Put up, put up shot right there. No good. A bit of confusion in the defense. Losing possession. Juggernaut's retaining possession. Puts up a long three. No good. As they look to try and capitalize on bit of an error there, but unfortunately not being able to convert. XUM now with possession. Yep, and we have only two and a half minutes left in the, in the first quarter. That first quarter has gone by real fast right there. Yeah, really. Oh, oh, oh. Uncle, unlucky. 
lucky with the finish. As Irfan is quick to get to the rim and draw a foul with Juggernauts right there. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a close game right now, right? With XUM leading by 15. Juggernauts trailing by three points only at 12. For sure. It's a close game. We'll see who will extend. As XUM makes the second. Uh, unlucky there. XUM getting back possession from a mistake by Juggernaut. Long pass there. Kicks out. Great distribution here by XUM being patient with the clock. Great cut, unlucky, not being able to finish with the left hand. Juggernaut now trying to capitalize again with their own look. Oh, no good. Pass is too strong. Shout for uh, out of bounds or a travel call right there just now. Yeah, uh, by the XUM bench. XUM using every opportunity to get here. Oh, and one. one opportunity for Omoeng Lun of XUM right there. What a pass by Mr. Corlin you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a mismatch right there from the number eight of Juggernauts, unfortunately. Uh, Brandon, you know, forcing the issue, but unfortunately conceding the foul as XUM going to the line. Mohamed Urfa is now checking out for number 40, Mohamed Yusuf, Adrian Shah. And um, Coach Moore himself uh, steps out of the game uh, for Wee Kai Chia. Alright, again, transition, transition ball right here. No, no good, no look. Great distribution of ball with a sense of urgency from Juggernaut. With the three. No good. Now, XUM trying to look on the counter. Great cut. On the three. Baseline. No good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, unlucky there. Good hustle by XUM trying to recover, but unfortunately gathering the ball as he gets out of bounds. But what uh, flexibility and body control that is shown by uh, Lim Ming Lit to actually extend back and around that offensive ball. Yeah, at that gather and that reach. As now Juggernaut's looking to have the two, no good. XUM now on the break. the ball as XUM were looking for the foul on that charge but no trying the roll and getting the foul on their side as we make the first sub as we make a substitution with number five juggernauts going to the line well, I'm a Fifi. Yes, a Fifi. He played in the SSL season last year. Oh, really? He played on the Cold Grey tonight. Last ah. season. How far did they go? Uh, they, they, they went to the semi finals, if I'm not wrong. Or oh. quarter finals. Quarter oh. finals. Okay, so they put up a good fight. Yeah, right. definitely. definitely. Okay. While they're at the free throws, just a reminder to our viewers thank you so much for watching. If you do like what you see, please do hit like and subscribe. Huddle and SSL YouTube, Facebook and Instagram accounts. <laughs> That's a lot of accounts to, to stay subscribed to, but it definitely is worth it if you're into amateur basketball here in Malaysia. Yeah, High level and, competition. And don't forget, there are prizes to be won. All you gotta do is just be a member. Challenges are there, the opportunities as. XUM tried to do a full court press and unfortunately conceding a foul in the process. Process. Joel Lightyear Yao committing the foul right there. You know, Ruben, they say uh, best couples can finish their own sentences. I mean, each other's sentences right there. So that's what I'm trying to Hashtag romance. Hashtag romance. Hashtag no homo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as now as Juggernauts trying to capitalize with big strongman number 10, Kavinasu. Oh, I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm going to call you Raj. Kavinasu Raj as he goes to the line for two. Misses the first. Let's see if he can make the second. Really fucking Zion Williams. Oh, yeah. And he 
13 seconds left. We'll see what XUM can pull out in this final second. As they drop a foul from Juggernaut. Oh, that was a bit unnecessary right there. I mean, they only had like 10 seconds on the clock. It was really, really unnecessary. Conceding a team foul now, XUM have the opportunity to extend their lead by going to the line. Unfortunately, he misses the first. He lines up for the second. And he makes it. With the lead now extended by six. Five seconds on the clock. Juggernaut's got to put up a shot. And there goes the buzzer, ladies and gentlemen, as we end the first quarter. Great defense play by XUM right there to, to deny uh, Juggernaut's. Uh, getting hands in on the ball, on the ball, and getting possession back in the final possession. Yeah, it was just a very unfortunate, you know, at dying seconds that they consider foul and also conceded points unnecessarily. A bit of a rookie mistake right there, don't you think so? Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. I'm apolo I, and I apologize for the score. The score is actually 22 14 right now. Um, at the end of the first quarter here, XUM leading by five, uh, six points. Okay, as we enter the break, we will be back shortly with more SSL Sports. Stay tuned. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for the second quarter now. The Juggernaut's in possession, trying to gain some footing in this game, man. You know, unnecessarily at the end, lose conceding points at the nine seconds of the first quarter. What do you think the coaches tell are telling you know XUM and respectively for Juggernaut. Yeah. What, what do you think the coach tell them during that break? Well, I'm not too sure what XUM has to say or what Coach Cole has to say about say the XUM. But, um, XUM are just like a, a, a methodical uh, point getting machine. They're, they're just gonna get you points every time down the trip, be it a fast break or or just breaking you down with their plays and stuff. It's it's not even a play. It's systems that they run. Uh, Alright, 2 on fast break right here. No good, gets his own rebound. And manages to squeeze it in. Contested. Well done right there by Juggernauts. Juggernauts 50. Not 50 even dark. He's a like big guy with a smooth stroking shot from mid range as well. Definitely. Alright, now XUM, let's see how they respond to the inbound. There's the famous XUM play right there, if anyone's wondering. Just a simple cross screen that creates so much miscommunication uh, in the defense. Yeah, it looks a bit messy right now on both ends of the court. Both teams trying to press and catch the other on the back foot and not being successful. Uh, shout out to those who are watching us now on, on YouTube or Huddle. Uh, we are in the second quarter now, just a minute, over a minute gone now in the second quarter. Yeah, drives to the basket and draws a foul on the juggernaut. As he goes to the line now for two. Oh, unlucky. He rattles around the rim and couldn't make it. Missing the first. Let's see. Um, I want to say it, it might be a good... Oh, again! Not being able to sing the second. I, I, I mean, I want to say it, it might be a good strategy for uh, uh, Juggernauts to actually foul XUM. Uh, oh, good cross right there. Drawing the foul, getting the contact, drawing the foul. I'm going to line for two. Definitely. Um, I, as I was saying just now, I, I think it might be a good opportunity for uh, Juggernauts to actually stop XUM from getting some easy points by just fouling them at any, well, at any easy, if they have an easy opportunity because they're shooting just 3 for 10 from the line today. Um, yeah, definitely that's one way to do it, but keep in mind they have to be careful. Yes, you know, you have to contest, but just to be careful as he makes, as Juggernauts makes a second. That, to make sure they don't get into foul trouble, you know, while they, while Juggernauts are poor from the free throw, there's only so many fouls they can do. Oh, great, great drive right there from XUM in response, going for the basket. One man basket all the way, grabbing the rebound and going up to the other end. Uh, uh, lucky there, XUM, not conceding the three points. 
They're looking for the response. And the left and the layup to finish. Basket right there, just uh, ignoring the contact and uh, laying it out with the left. Douglas now trying to go from the right, penetrating and getting the two. Looks, looks good to me. It looks like Juggers are trying, you know, different different tactics, trying to attack from different angles to try and catch a weak point, don't you think so? Yes, and uh, despite the dominance shown by XUM in the game, the game's actually still at a five point, only a five point gap, uh, with uh, XUM leading 24 to 19. Mm, uh, right you are. Juggernaut still hanging in there. Number 34 from XUM, uh, Mr. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, 94 from XUM, Liu Chikin hitting that three right there. Unfortunately, uh, they lost possession as Dragonauts make their first substitution on the border. Yes, and for all of you that are interested in uh, looking at the live stats, That was a foul right there. Did you, uh, oh, press, supposedly he got the, of, got, got the ball first and on the follow through. A bit of a strange call right there. I mean, it looked like a foul to me, but supposedly they got the ball. It's just unfortunate that on the hard fall he didn't release the ball. So that was a mistake right there. I think so. There was a lot of contact there, but I mean, you got to respect what the ref. That's absolutely. You know, it's good to see that they both respect the call, but again, I don't know. It's a bit of a tough call there. To me, it looked clean. It's just that, yeah, unfortunately, he put himself in a situation. In terms of it. been Adnan, captain of the team, but uh, shooting an air ball right there. Yeah, it looks like Juggernauts, someone needs to tell them to. Now they're just forcing fast break plays, time to time again, missing shots, taking horrible shots. Someone out there in Juggernauts needs to take control of the game and set the pace for them to get better shots. And you know, as they say, like, um, either make a layup or make a tree. Don't settle for mid-range jumpers. It's, it's the least efficient shot. Shot right there, unfortunately. So does that mean, are you not a fan of the mid-range jumper? The lost art, you can say, of the 90s and 80s basketball. So, so the, the, how I feel about that is uh, if, if you can make the jumper, if you're confident in that jumper, take it. But if you are just chucking a shot up because you can't get to the rim, or just put your head down and get to the rim. Try to draw a foul, like, you're not going to get anything called with a mid-range jumper. The I, I feel like if you're confident, take it, but don't. As XUM makes the other three. Uh, Mohamed Irfan definitely have confidence in his, uh, in his uh, oh, yeah. range game. Yeah, range game. yeah, they are getting warmed up now. More and more from downtown. As they try to, try to respond with their own. Oh. And makes it. Great, great play right there. Mohamed Azmil bin Zakri, number zero from Juggernauts, or more affectionately known by his teammates. Oh! Chase down block! By, uh, was it number 23 that did it? I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. It looked like, but whoever it was, great play, great effort. I'm gonna say Andre Egazala S. <laughs> <laughs> On LeBron. Oh, Irfan. Let's go, let's go. Oh, why is it? Oh, four with the opportunity, but not taking it. He was open for five seconds right there. He was wide open, and it's just. Yeah, unfortunately, he should have taken it. I'm pretty sure he can shoot. He's just. He just wants to get people involved in the game. It's a four pass right there. Unfortunately, XUM being able to maintain possession. Nine seconds on the clock. What a pass, and by Mohamed Irfan. Too strong in the paint right there. The starting lineup of XUM coming back in, checking back in, and immediately making impact here um, in the second quarter. And he's good making the three point play right there. Yeah. 
Alfran is a dangerous, dangerous player. Um, I heard that he hurt his ACL over the summer and, and was uh, focusing on rehabbing it to get, it, get back to uh, playing in SSL. As we see, number eight try to hustle for the rebound right there, but. Close. Now, next year I'm looking to counter. Oh, Trying to go for the Euro step there, trying to dish out and conceding and getting the foul, sorry. Yes, and then might I say a hard foul right there, good competition all around. But you are, it's good to see, yeah, definitely on both ends, trying to play their own style, trying to get a foothold in the game. But as we go now into four minutes, XUM leading score 32, now 33 to 22. Might I ask you, Ruben, how do you, what do you think of these XUM jerseys with a, with a white front and a logo, bare logo on the back? Yeah, to be honest, from our, from where we're sitting, it's quite hard to see <laughs> the yeah. numbers. It's quite hard to see, I have to admit. But they do look good. I'm pretty sure. It's just I wish the numbers were a bit bigger. So whoever chose the font size, oh, now XUM losing possession. And Jagger's trying to counter, but unsuccessful. And thanks to him now charging down the line. Again, drawing contact and getting the foul. I don't know if he really needed to do that because it was a mismatch. He just needed to kind of back him down. He's going to run at it. Yeah, honestly, yes. Uh, Ung Wing is a big guard for his, uh, for his position. Um, Stands almost equal with the, the bigs of XUM. It's a really good team on defense and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. They, they, they should be trying to get an open look instead of going to the free throw line because they do not. Uh, again, unsuccessful even in the return. Juggles now bring the ball back up. They do not seem to be making their free throw today, actually. No, not at all. Both seem to be cold from the free throw line. There's a missed pass there by Juggernauts. Giving possession back. Great defense by the uh, Again, again, misplaced passes on both ends of the court. Timeout call by Juggernauts. So now, as we go into the break, a quick reminder to everybody that's viewing, welcome, 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 hope you like what you see. If you do, please like and subscribe. If you know the answer, please write it down in the YouTube comments and stand a chance to win 100 ringgit worth of leaning vouchers. I definitely will want some, hope you. Yes, definitely. Leaning has been so generous in their sponsorship. Uh, uh, and we have up to 5,000 ringgit worth of leaning vouchers to be given away the whole season. So just stay tuned to our YouTube and Facebook page for more updates on these giveaways. Absolutely. Now as we go into under three minutes of the second quarter, great shot there by XUM. Great shot, but great pass by Mr. Coach Coral Co 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 you right there, the veteran of uh, oh, well, you XUM mentioned team and a block on the other end by Mama Orphan. Great hustle by Lim Ming Lip to keep it in. Thank you, Ong Wing Lun. Simon Ruchu. I just love the play of, I'm just, I just love the play of XUM, the hustle, the ball movement, to get it down to the mismatch down low. Great, definitely, but great vision, great pass to recognize that mismatch. I mean, unfortunately, number one, Juggernaut, Muhammad Amal Hashim, not being able to do much in that position. As a, as an air ball, as Juggernaut put him in air ball, and we see XUM going the other way, and, uh, no foul called. I heard the, the white there, but no foul called by the referee. It will be a baseline throw, in, and will we see another edition of the XUF play? No, it's straight up oh. and down, and lifting. Lift. Seems a bit surprised to receive the pass down at the basket right there, but converts it anyway, and the score stands at 39 to 22. A bit of a cheeky play right there. Fantastic, great pass break, and an easy 
points as XUM extend their lead now 41 to 22. And I, as I said again just now, like uh, William was all the way with uh, Wing Lun right there, and he should have fouled him, I felt, instead of letting him get easy layup because XUM is not hitting their free throws, only 5 for 15 in the game right now. Yeah, definitely. It was something to consider. Especially like you said, you know, XUM being poor at the free throw line. They have fouls to give. Let's just hope that they can recognize that. As Dragonos goes to the line and misses the first. Juggernauts themselves doing a little bit better but still below average on the end of free throw line today. Just 3, three of 7 right now in the game. Yes, unfortunately they've been exceptionally poor in the second quarter. Only scoring 8 as compared to the 21 points XUM have. As XUM gather back possession. There's your shot from Coach Core. Coach Core forcing the 3. Unlucky there. One, I want to see him go for 3. Because in the, in the warm up, he has been, he was the one who put back to back threes. And Juggernaut goes strong to the hoop. Great play. No dice. Right there. XUM now doing some clock management, taking the time. Scoring the foul. Looks like a holding foul on Juggernauts. As <laughs> XUM now go to the free throw line. What do you think when they made the shot right here? These two free throws, what do you think? I'm gonna say he's gonna miss the first, get the second. Uh, I'm, I'm, That's I'm, off your prediction yeah, right I'm there. I'm 50% right so far. Let's see if he makes the second. I mean, you're doing better than... Uh, and he does. You are doing better than XUM is doing at the line right now. I should definitely go back and buy some Toto right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Juggernauts in possession. Let's see what they can do. For sure, for sure. Um, XUM now extending the lead to a 20-point lead. Makes a cut. Corner three. Oh, and I'm lucky as he rattles off the rim. And now XUM. Min Min Kim. Unlucky again on both ends, not being able to convert threes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is the end of the first half. What, with what? XUM leading the score with 42, Juggernauts 22. Stay tuned. to the third quarter of the game. A little bit of altercation happening at the end of the first quarter right there, but we are back in action right now. Third quarter. Third quarter, the score stands at 42-22, and oh, and one, and one play right there by Muhammad Yusuf, Adrian Shah. Foul the number zero of Juggernauts, uh, Mama Azmil bin Zakri committing the foul. And, and Mama Yusuf converts the N1 play. Score stands at 45 to 22. Baseline drive by Mohammad Afifi Ben Tahar and he makes that shot right there. He's looking for him. Ninety-four of XUM with a great cut there. Baseline puts up an air ball. Liu Chi Chin. Mohammad Afifi going coast to coast to receive the baseline. Gets it into William Jude. The Queen and unable to convert though. As a weak Kai Xiang right there. Weak Kai Xiang right there. Knocking down that uh, that circus layer. Great defense played by. Uh, great defense played by XUM, but a reaching call call on number 32 of uh, XUM. Uh, 50 missing that 10-foot uh, jump 
deeper than I ran in the paint. That's actually go the other way. Unable to convert on the layup. Number 55, the captain of Juggernauts, um, slowing down the play and getting his players to calm down a bit. Tensions rising and uh, players getting uh, slightly rough here. We like to see hard plays and uh, great battles here, but we don't want to see a fight in this game. The foot drives to the rim there. Yusuf Adrian Shah. Um, he's been doing well in the in the game right in, in the third quarter here right now for XUM. Japan as well rejected by Liu Chi Kin. But William Duke gets the rebound and knocks down the shot. Coach Idham on the juggernauts is getting furious with his players. Telling them that's what they should be doing all game long right now. Score stands at 51-28 right now. I am sorry if uh, some of the scores... So the score is being updated a slightly late right here. <laughs> the ball slips out of Ng Wing Lun's hand who has just checked in. Great pass by Japun and William June completes the layup. No, uh, number eight instead. Sorry, not William. Uh, number eight, uh, Brandon Chong completes that layup right there. Oh. Great interception as well. Like Yusuf tries to look for tries to look for uh Chuaming Shao right there. But unable to find him. XUM play again. Chuaming Shao seals the guy and rejected by Japan. As we said again, uh, XUM play if run perfectly is actually a great as it gets deflected out of bounds again and they set up for the XUM play again. Going the another side now, Mama Yusuf putting up a shot and almost making it over the long arm of Afifi. Brandon Chong unable to knock down that shot. Uh, score stands at 49 to 30. Apologies for the mistake right there. Charming Shao trying to sweeping pop across the paint. As uh, Juggernaut gets the ball to a Fifi and a Fifi finds the streaking William for a uh, for easy layup at the, at the cup. Turnover committed by XUM. Juggernauts finally showing some life in the third quarter, trying to chase back that lead they gave up in the first half. Um, Mohammad Yusuf. Yusuf, Adrian Shah checks out. And uh, Irfan and Simon Wooters checks back in, and that completes. That completes the starting lineup. Right there. Ball goes back to Coach Core, the initiator of plays. Great bounce pass and a backdoor cut by uh, Lim Ming Lip, scoring the two points right there.
Oh, oh, hit fake. And one. And one play com converted by. Converted by William Jude right there. Um, as he goes to the line for one more point, 34-51. It's looking more and more like a, a competitive game right now. Despite the scoreline gap of 17. Makes that one. We have 4.30 left in the third quarter. The XUM looks to Lim Ming Lim again, but unable to finish that layup. And Juggernaut goes to William Jude again, who completes the spin layup. In traffic, might I say. And Juggernaut intercepts the ball of Coach Core and gets an open layup of their own. Ong Wing Lu going to the bucket right now. Wow, the shot right there. Brendan Chong bringing it up the floor. As Coach Core gets the ball back, Ong Wing Loon posting up in the posting up, posting up in the fast break and getting the two points right there. Stopping Juggernaut's run. At 10. Shot fake by Brendan Chong. Gets it to the corner. William Jude gonna take the long two. Air ball. Irfan gets the ball to Lim Ming Lip. Unable to finish, but Irfan hustles and gets the rebound. Gets it back to Coach Paul. Great no look pass to Lim Ming Lip. And it rims out. It rims out. Signs of frustration by Lim Ming Lip right there. Missing two layups of his own already. Shout out to those uh, watching right now. Um, remember to subscribe to subscribe and like. Uh, our, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram at Sports League and Huddle. Huddle World for uh, for for our Huddle app. Huddle app is a, a app that gathers different information on. Uh, amateur sports, all kinds of amateur sports all around Malaysia, um, timeout call by Juggernaut right here, um, as they close in on a f close in and as they try to close in on the 14 point lead here in the third quarter. You can leave your comment in any huddle live stream, be it on YouTube, on the huddle app, on Facebook and we will look for your answers as a uh, juggernaut turn over the ball right there coach Edham not happy with what he's seen out here but juggernaut's immediately trying to press and win the ball back um, they get a deflection but no turnover from XUM Irfan's ISO Top of the court, they go to the post, tripping Ming Lin, and a foul call right away on uh, Brandon Chong.
Nice shot of the tree. Ming Lip gets the end one back in return. And we'll go to the line for one more. But he misses that free throw, unable to convert the three point play. Juggernaut now on the run. Afifi with the ball. Almost got stolen there by Irfan. Juggernaut still in possession. Juggernaut needs to put up a shot here. Oh. Costly turnover here. 20 seconds left in this third quarter. XUM leading 59 to 44. Coach Core here with the ball. 20 seconds. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Stolen but got in back by Irfan. Irfan with the ball. Ming Lip. Irfan has to put up a shot here. Ming Lip with the buzzer beater. Lim Ming Lip gives XUM the two point which totals up to 61 points against Juggernaut's 44. Welcome back to the fourth quarter guys here is XUM versus Juggernaut and RPP with the floater too. Easy stuff there. 61 to 46 XUM still with the commanding lead. XUM tries to turn up zone. Miss. Akil now with the ball. Ooh. Rough foul there by XUM. And Akil will go to the line for two. XUM passing the ball around. Ooh, we can send with a wild turn. Couldn't get it to fall. Juggernaut now with the break. Japan with the ball. Juggernaut with the tree. Short there. XUM trying to get a counter attack. Ooh, close. Juggernaut's turn. Fifi. Back to Japan. Japan will try a three of his own. Short there. Ah, Fifi with the offensive rebound. Couldn't get it to fall. Good hustle there by XUM. Get the ball back. Still cannot convert on the other end by XUM. They look fatigued, they look tired. Can it can it get a basket here? Ooh, good defense there by Japan from the juggernauts. Trying to contest that layup. XUM both really just XUM and Juggernaut both really just trying to trade misses here. But finally XUM gets a call. And we'll go to the line. 
Two for two. Ah, okay. With the ball again. <coughs> Trying to go for the ISO play, but no. Passes around. Ah, okay. With the nice. Ooh, and the end one there. Great pass there from number seven. Rewards Ah, okay. With the three point play. Shot here. seems to be fine and, and they're showing great sportsmanship here by not trying to to retaliate the the call there. Great sportsmanship by both teams. Numbers. Out. Oh, I think he should have got that one up instead of passing the ball last minute. Ends up in the turnover. Actually, I'm gonna make some changes.
with the ball, passes to Ming Lip. Oh, oh, and the end one. Tough take there from Lim Ming Lip. But still manages to put the ball in. Also completes three point play. Tough, tough shot there. to pass there by the XUM. Turnover there by the XUM juggernauts now. The whole, the whole possession passing it around. Oh, also another costly turnover there by juggernauts. Irfan trying to make the pass. Irfan gets it back for the easy layup. A little sloppy there on Juggernaut's defense. Oh, crossover. Oh, good take. Nice take there by the Juggernaut. Juggernaut's team rocking out the alternative uh, SSL dark blue. More like the USA uh, away team jersey. Definitely, yeah. definitely, and then XUM with the white fur. <laughs> yes, uh, XUM with their signature uh, bear jersey, the grizzly bear jersey. Highlight play right there is um, Brandon Chong. Oh! Sloppy. Yeah. 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 But now XUM comes from the other end, Ong Wing Lun passing up to uh, the Ming Lip. Sloppy there on. The defense. Chong's on four fouls right now. I think that's yeah. why he's a bit cautious in using the defense. But it's okay. Airfront gets a turnover. Oh! Tie up right there. Careful. Gotta be careful there. Tie up right there. Good hustle by the uh, actual big man, Lim Ming Lin. And then this is a how thing. How long? As uh, the official is just uh, officials and Isaac, <laughs> the commentator just now just uh, heads down to the court for uh, uh, a wipe down, uh, just to make sure that it's not slippery and everything's okay. Um, 54-59 now, the score in the fourth quarter with three minutes left. 15 point games, what do you think guys? Is this possible for XUM to make a comeback in the fourth right here now? Contested three by Erkan, unlucky but Yusuf gets the ball and Wingland finishes the putback. Juggernauts have got to put a body on this 
Juggernauts have got to put a body on these uh, these XUM players as no defense played there by XUM and number 17 from Juggernaut uh, Mr. Arif bin Kamara Arif, Muhammad Arif gets the free throw and jumper right there Simon Wouters, post move goes to the basket great good finish Stands at 78-61. Brendan Chong shoots a tree, gets his own rebound, put back two points. 63-78, keeping the score at 15 again. Two minutes left now. In the quarter. Game almost done here. Air ball from a tree again. Brandon Trump grabs the rebound again. He's going to try another one. Unlucky there. Simon Wouters grabs the rebound. Do you think that's the end of the, the, the game there? Oh, I, said, uh, I believe in comebacks, but this is definitely not one of it. Yes. Uh, if they make this one, they can come back from it. But as you can see, as you can see, I don't know, like, they're not even trying to, to you see, like, another turnover there, they're, they're, they're not even trying to, you know, trying to win it. Yeah, was, right. uh, what was that, uh, uh, not, uh, NFL tackle? <laughs> <laughs> NFL tackle from number trying 10. Trying to lie down there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Isaac was just about to make a comment and now he has to uh, race down to the floor again <laughs> to get the court dry. Kavinash there dry, diving for the ball but unfortunately fouling Simon Wouters <laughs> and Coach Court <laughs> raising a round of applause for Mr. Isaac Go. Isaac Go is also the topic of the trivia, week one trivia question. Uh, uh, week one trivia question there, Isaac Go. How many teams have Isaac Go played in SSL? Uh, all 11 seasons of SSL, including this season. Um, Isaac himself has. Uh, Isaac, do you have a hint for the for the viewers out there about the trivia question? Yes. Do you have a hint? Yes. Uh, for today's hint, it's more than two. <laughs> oh, more than two right there. Um, if if we come up with a few correct answers. The, the 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 best answer will be decided by the amount of teams you can list down uh, on the comments. Uh, comment down on any Huddle live stream, be it on Facebook or YouTube or on the Huddle app. Um, as Mama Earth makes the two right there, the score stands at 82, and the game is essentially over right now. Uh, uh, as uh, Buzzer sound, Afifi makes that last two pointer and uh, the game is done. Also once again shout out to our sponsors uh, Baofin and Leaning who contributed to all these uh, giveaways, vouchers. And we'll have a quick interview coming up very soon. Coach Core will do the honor for his victory today. <laughs> <laughs>
11 of SSL? Well, we, we play together every week, you know. Um, that's pretty much it, you know, just play together. I think the difference is uh, perhaps all of these are my former players from UM, so they all came through the same uh, coaching program. So we have a pretty good understanding with each other and what we're trying to do on the floor. And, I hope you can run with it and go far. I mean, everything seemed to click together for you guys as you guys win the game 82 to 65 today. Um, I, I saw a bit of the rendition of uh, as, uh, the XUM player. Can you tell us more if, if you have any more? <laughs> that, that's a trademark secret. I, I, can't, I can't tell you our secret, but yeah, it's that, it's that trademark baseline inbounds player. Yeah, it, it, it gets you points every time, right? Yeah, it gets you points every time. Can you tell me a little bit about your imports uh, this season? Yes. We have a Belgian player with us, but he's also from UN. Uh, he's here on an exchange program. So yeah, so he's with us in UN for, uh, for six months. Yeah, so looking to play some basketball. So we, we like his, uh, you know, his attitude to play. Uh, he's a team player and a uh, very humble kid. So we're, we're happy to have him play with us. And can you just tell us what is actually what they Well, we want to have fun. Yeah, we don't lose, we want to have fun. And then, See how far it goes, you know. We'll, we let the wins and losses take care of themselves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Spoken like a true <laughs> coach. Uh, thank you for thank the you positive so interview again, uh, and uh, hopefully, we'll see more thank you every time. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Stay tuned for next week for more SSL games. Uh.